Hello, I'm Judy Jacobs. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Whatever nation that you're watching this channel on and this program on, I want to say welcome. And I just say bless God for you. Thank God for you. We're so excited that you're joining us today. Thank you for joining us. Are you dreaming about something? I'm telling you, I am living right in the middle of our dream because you're going to be hearing some bulldozers outside that's going to be bustling and hustling because we're moving dirt. We're getting ready to build this International Institute of Mentoring. It's a dream. Now, let me ask you something. What are you dreaming about? Get ready to hear about dreams, visions, and prophecies. Today is a day when they're going to come to pass and you're going to see God begin to work mighty miracles in your life. Don't you dare go away. When God gives you a dream, He gives it to no one else but you. It's your dream. It doesn't belong to anyone else. God said, if you're faithful with little, you'll be faithful with much. That's why you have to take it and run and never give up. It's something you have to work on every day. Never give up. Dreams, visions, and prophecies have always been connected to the Word of God. I believe that God has used dreams and visions and prophecy and still today uses dreams, visions, and prophecies. I know that if I would poll you today, go to your house and ask you, is there anything that you believe in God for? Is there someone that has spoken a prophecy over you? Is there a dream that you have in your heart that you haven't as of yet seen come to pass? I have a word today that I believe is going to change your life, that's going to make you dream even bigger. So I want you to stay tuned today. You're going to be excited and you're going to be blessed by this music. You know what? I love to worship God. And that's what this song is about. It says, I will worship you. Come on, get in that frame. Change the atmosphere in your house and let's worship. My God is faithful. My God is truthful. My God is boundless in all he is. My God is wisdom. My God is
God, there's nothing like the presence of God. There's nothing like being in His presence. And I want to encourage you, you can go to our website and you can get any of this music uh, that, you're, that you see on our website and you can get any of this music that you're listening to. You can even get this teaching today if you call our office. The number is at the bottom of the screen. You can write our office, email our office at judyjacobs.com and you can get anything that you see on that website. It's a very exciting time and you're going to be blessed by all this music. Now, I want us to go straight to the Word today because I'm very excited about this Word because I'm talking today about dreams, visions, and prophecy. And I want us to go and I want us to look at, the, at chapter 37 of Genesis because it talks about one of the best known dreamers that there are in the Bible and all the great and mighty things that happened because of one young man that had the, the guts, had the, the go ye to dream. And I'm telling you what, he dreamed and he dreamed big. But you know what? It was a dream from God. God is the one that gives dreams and vision. When you have a dream and a vision and, and a prophecy that comes forth and, you, and, it, and, it, and it's biblical, it's, it's strategic, it has something to do with you, if it's something that's bad, if it's something that's against you, if it's something that's against your family, against your body, you need to wake yourself up from that dream and you need to rebuke that dream in the name of God, or if you should have a vision of, of something happen, you need to you need to cast down imaginations in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of who Jesus is. But if, if a dream is something that is coming forth in your sleep and you feel the anointing, you feel good about this dream, more than likely it's a dream from God. But today, I want to talk about someone who is known, really, <laughs> as the dreamer. You know him as Joseph. And I want you to look in the Bible at Genesis chapter 37, beginning with verse 3. Now, listen to this. The Bible says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him, him a coat of many colors. Now, I understand that very vividly because, you see, I was the daughter of my mother's old age. I think my mom was like 48 or 49 when she had me. Of course, I was the baby of 12. But I can understand Jacob because Jacob loved Joseph because he was the son of his old age. But he went on to have another son by the name of Benjamin. But the Bible says in verse 4, and when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. Now look at verse 5. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and listen what happened. And they hated him yet the more. Can I tell you that people are not going to always like your dreams? Even your family sometimes are the worst people that's going to hate you for your dreams because nobody wants to see you go to another level. But you know what? You still got to keep dreaming. You still got to keep believing. You got to believe that this is the year that God has ordained for your life. This is the year when every dream, every vision, every prophecy shall and will come to pass. But the Bible says that that uh, his brethren hated him even more because of his dream.